Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm Ross Gosky. I'm the Interim Associate Dean here in the Creatus D. Williams School of Graduate Studies at Appalachian State University. Um, I've also served as a faculty member in the Mathematical Sciences Department, and I appreciate your interest in um, graduate education and participation here at Appalachian. We want to highlight today in this video a few opportunities for you regarding funding and then regarding um, graduate student life and opportunities to participate in events sponsored by the graduate school. I'm going to start by sharing a PowerPoint slide that highlights some of what we offer, um, both in terms of faculty research awards and recognitions over here on the left, uh, but you'll be more interested in graduate student research awards and recognitions over here on the right. I'm going to talk through a few of these things and then mention a couple special research events for graduate students as well before I move on to our website to show you some other additional opportunities. So graduate students uh, receive recognition for their research at the university and funding for their research at the university through a few different channels. Um, over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see three awards at the top that are mentioned, the Domer Research Award, the Zigley Research Award, and the Outstanding Thesis Award. Those are awarded once a year to outstanding graduate students through our uh, graduate faculty and student research awards um, reception that we have in the spring. So, for those awards, you'll see that, for example, for the DOMA Research Award, we recognize up to five graduate students per year, each of whom is eligible for an $800 award based on their research. What I wanna mention about these three is that these are nominated by your faculty and you are nominated for these by your faculty and um, they are awarded across the entire graduate school. So the five graduate student research awards that we have for the Domer Research Award, again, are allowed for students across all graduate programs. Another area of funding that um, you can participate in and help initiate are our Graduate Student Government Association, or GSGA, Research and Travel Awards. If your graduate program has a senator who has participated in GSGA um, over the past year, you're eligible to apply for one of these research and travel awards. These can be used to fund research materials or travel to professional conferences where you are giving a presentation related to your research. And these are, um, while these require a faculty recommendation, again, you as a student in your program can apply for these and initiate this funding um, request and, and application on your own behalf. Additionally, a couple of special research uh, events that we have, or one particular special research event that we have at the graduate school is called our three-minute thesis competition. Um, this is held in the fall semester. Uh, it's coming up. Uh, it's typically held in October or November, and uh, it, it is literally what it sounds like. It's a three-minute opportunity with one static PowerPoint slide to present your research to a non-technical audience and um, it's a great opportunity for professional development because it builds the skills that you often need to communicate your technical research to a non-technical audience, which you may be doing when you're interviewing or um, you know, simply networking with other professionals in your field. Uh, and there are cash awards for uh, students that uh, uh, achieve first place, second place, and people's choice awards in that annual competition that we host. The winner of the competition also joins us at for a regional three-minute thesis competition in the spring at the Conference of Southern Graduate Schools Conference. So the winner travels with, with us in the graduate school to that conference and gets an opportunity to present uh, that same three-minute thesis uh, presentation at a regional conference, which is also great for professional development and for networking. Um, We've also participated in Graduate Education Day um, in the spring semester, typically in May, at the North Carolina Legislature, where we travel with a few graduate students down to meet with our local um, representatives in state government and um, participate with other graduate students um, uh, for graduate education advocacy uh, down in Raleigh, which is, again, a, a really nice opportunity to 
grow in your professional development. So I wanted to mention a few of those things and then I'll briefly talk about graduate assistantships. Um, graduate assistantships are allocated, uh, se several graduate assistantships um, are allocated from the graduate school to the academic departments. And I would, I would go ahead and say you know, that quite a few of them are allocated in that way. So we use our graduate school funding to help support graduate education through the academic units. And um, this is a great source of support for full-time main campus graduate students to help supplement um, and, and earn you know, either um, experience in teaching, experience in research, um, and uh, or you know, other um, kind of service or administrative type of activities that, that again, support and enhance your graduate education. So if you, um, are interested in a graduate assistantship. If you do not have one, it's worth asking your program uh, or stating that interest to your program and determining um, if you would be eligible for them based again on talking with your program director. So I'll stop sharing this PowerPoint slide first. Then I'm gonna take us over to our website uh, where I can show you um, some more information from our graduate student life team, as well as um, a link to financial support for graduate students and where that page resides. I'm going to share my screen next and I'm going to post um, over here to, oops, sorry. That's the wrong. Okay, hang on a second. We could pause that because I shifted to the wrong, the wrong web browser. Sorry about that. Different thing. Uh, okay. Second, escape. Uh, there it is. Okay. Can you see the website here now? Okay. So I'm shifting over to our graduate school website here. And if you're interested in learning about opportunities for you as a student, if you click under the students tab here at the top, over on the left, you can find a lot of different areas of interest. I wanna highlight simply three of them. Um, so financial support is one, and then professional development is the second. And then our graduate student life and our events subpages here are the third and fourth options that I wanna talk about. So for financial support, if I select this page here, it brings up information about some of the areas that I've talked about. Graduate assistantships, which we mentioned, scholarships and fellowships, which are uh, available to new students, our graduate school awards that we talked about already, and then finally our GSGA research and travel awards. For you, if you're interested in applying for a GSGA research or travel award, if you select this link here, you can find instructions and information for applying for either um, a research materials award or a travel support award. And it also indicates um, information that will be filled out by your faculty mentor. We have three submission deadlines per year, one in the fall and two in the spring to allow you the opportunity to request funding um, in a timely fashion based upon either your travel or research material needs. And, um, and so you can go ahead and follow this page to, to fill out that application. Under the professional development tab, we, uh, we talk a little bit about the, the kind of the way we view professional development here at Appalachian and, um, and then opportunities for requesting uh, professional development workshops that would be of interest to you. Under graduate student life, we have our graduate student life uh, page, which is a distinct component of graduate education here at Appalachian. Uh, we talk a little bit about, again, graduate student government, student support services, um, our graduate ambassadors program, and then other student resources for you. So this is a great hub of information to find out about what's going on with our graduate student life group here at Appalachian. An easy way to find out what's going on from a calendar perspective is to click on the events tab over here on the left. And if you notice over here, we have a calendar in kind of a tabular fashion that highlights events that are upcoming um, sponsored by the graduate school um, and, uh, and by graduate student life in specific. So if you are interested in one of these events, you can often click on it to get at least a little bit more description about um, what would be upcoming. So um, for example, 
Um, if I were to select, say, the on-campus weekly wellness walk here, uh, if I click on that, it gives some information about where to meet, when the event is. I can copy that to my Google Calendar if I want. And so, uh, so this can be a very helpful way to plan and give you an opportunity to, you know, to uh, to, to learn more about um, the, the the things that the opportunities that are available for you, both from a professional development uh, and from a, a social uh, perspective as well. So lastly, I um, just kind of want to stop by saying that if you ever have any questions that we in the graduate school can answer for you, feel free to reach out to us on our email at gradschool.appstate.edu. At and again, that is gradschool.appstate.edu. Um, if you send an email to that email address, you know, our team collectively checks that fairly regularly and um, we will uh, take questions that come in there, route them to the appropriate people and, uh, and get you an answer as soon as we can to any questions that you might have. So I encourage you to reach out anytime and uh, appreciate your time today for watching this video. Thank you.